It is now my pleasure to introduce, on behalf of the class of 2021, Ava Godby, who will deliver the farewell address. Good evening, faculty, families, and class of 2021. My name is Ava Godby, and I'm here tonight to celebrate graduation with you all as the class of 2021 valedictorian. How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Our childhood friend, Winnie the Pooh, found a perfect way to put into words the feelings we all share tonight. Tonight is the night that our St. Michael's journey must come to an end. However, it will never, ever be forgotten. How could it be? I remember as if it was just yesterday, my little four-year-old self walking into Miss Hardy's pre-K-4 classroom, seeing Thomas the turtle, meeting some twins that always had broken bones, befriending a little red-headed girl, singing crazy songs, writing my name upside down for the longest time, and yet I still made it to kindergarten. And what I learned from finally graduating kindergarten is that I am a great big bundle of potentiality and that we all had so much to look forward to together. We may have forgotten to write our note cards, broke each other's pens to explode ink all over one another, forgot to write that paper for Miss Russo that was due at 11.59 p.m., stayed up just a little too late on FaceTime after seeing each other all day anyway, laughed through the whole grammar lesson, ripped open our notebooks, threw out important papers, but look where we are now. I could never forget singing This Land Is Your Land in every music class, or doing the turkey tango no matter how silly we looked. The fourth grade field trip bus ride that we enjoyed a little bit more than the actual trip. Seventh grade getting cut short, yet still managing to be one of the best years we had together. Besides the whole global pandemic part, there was never a dull moment in our class, I can tell you that. Though this year hasn't been quite like any other, we all had something to help us along the way. Our faith. God has been and will always be our guide to a better future. So, as we make our journey into high school, we must always remember to have faith in Him and His plan for us. So, we must remember, we can't be sad because we are leaving. We must be happy that it even happened. I wish all of you luck in high school, and I know you all do great things. Thank you to all of my teachers, Mr. G, my fellow classmates, my family, and the entire St. Michael's family for making me the person I am standing here today. My days wouldn't have been so bright if it weren't for you all. I will leave you off with this quote from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. And in the wise words of Matthew Kelly, be the best version of yourself. Thank you. We will now recognize the accomplishments of the members of the class of 2021. Ms. Fabrizio will now come forward to present the awards. Our first award goes to our scholar athletes. For the boy, Gavin Friel. For the girl, Ava Godby. The Dragoon family established an honor honorary award for the St. Michael students who honor the flag each day for our school. 
This dedication award is in memory of First Lieutenant Sal Corma, Anthony Capone, and Vincenzo Dragone. The recipients are Brendan He, Hunter Cordetti, and Nicholas Cordetti. This next award, um, the students had to write an essay in February for the Black Catholic Ministry, and we had to send in to participants. Our school placed first in Region 1 with one of our students. The two students' essays that we sent in were Eva Godby, Ava's getting a certificate of participation. And the first place Region 1 winner was Michael Burgo. At this time, I'd like to call up Mr. Ryder to present the Knights of Columbus Scholarship. Good evening, everyone. I'm the Grand Knight from the St. Michael of Archangel Parish in Clayton. Each year, our council presents a $1,000 scholarship to the eighth grade student heading to Catholic High School who has not only demonstrated outstanding academic achievements, but has also achieved many contributions to their school, church, and community. This year, the competition was very competitive, and I, I say that with great distinction because Mr. G and your staff have prepared this class very well. Um, after reviewing the scholarship uh, entries, uh, the, the Knights of my council thank all students who participated in this scholarship competition and they wish all the St. Michael graduates the best in their future. The $1,000 scholarship is awarded to Evelyn Rosas Martinez who is planning on attending Paul VI. Okay, the next scholarship is a Dalton scholarship. It recognizes outstanding students who attend a Catholic high school. This year, it is being presented to Abraham Alavez. The Montini scholarship honors the memory of the namesake of St. Paul VI, whose surname was Montini. The scholarship is granted to one student from each Catholic elementary school, sending students to Paul VI High School. Each student receives a monetary scholarship for freshman year. This year's recipient is Brendan He. Dr. David Collin Coglin was a lifetime Catholic educator who was a former superintendent of the Diocese of Camden, who passed away in 2005. His family established a scholarship in his name to be given to a young scholar who plans to continue their Catholic education in a diocesan high school and lives their Catholic faith through service to their school, family, and community. This year's Dr. David Coughlin Young Catholic Leader Award is given to Ava Godby. And now we come to the highlight of the, the awards portion of the program, the, presenta the presentation of the academic awards. The parent 
Association is awarding the student with the third highest grade point average in this year's eighth grade class. This is presented to Grace Meadle. The St. Michael the Archangel Regional School School's School Board is awarding the student with the second highest grade point average in this year's eighth grade class. This is presented to Claire Jeffress. The General Excellence Award, which recognizes the student with the highest grade point average in the eighth grade class, the Parents Association funds the scholarship to this student. This year, the student with the highest GPA is presented to Ava Godby. You are. So good evening. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Your hard work has resulted in this milestone. So I would like to begin with a few words of gratitude. To the graduates, thank you for enriching St. Michael's. To the parents and teachers, thank you for your support in our students' education. To Ms. Fabrizio, thank you for all your efforts in preparing our eighth graders for graduation. To my colleague, Ms. Sidoti, special thanks for your constant support and affirmation. To Father Caparis and the staff of Mary, Mother of Mercy Parish for their hospitality. And to La Father Larry, our pastor, and the sending pastors, thank you for your support of our school. Finally, thank you to the Diocese of Camden and Bishop Sullivan for their support of all of our efforts at St. Michael's. So allow me to share a few brief remarks. I'm friends with Pope Francis. Well, more accurately, I follow Pope Francis along with 10.6 million other Twitter users. Uh, Pope Francis, known for his compassion and ability to reach across boundaries, gave a TED Talk themed The Future You. His point was about the importance of interconnection and tenderness towards one another. Pope Francis said, this is important to get to know people, listen, expand circles of ideas. The world is crisscrossed by roads that come closer together and move apart. But the important thing is that they lead towards the good. We take for granted the need to acquire academic excellence in all subjects. I'm grateful to be at a school where students also learn the inner values, love, compassion, justice, and forgiveness, the good. We acknowledge and honor tonight students who have excelled in their academic pursuits. As you know, education is not easy. It requires hard work. In an increasingly competitive and uncertain world, one vision enshrined today is winning the game securing promotions, and the appearance of a more secure future. However, true education and the formation of the heart requires the inner values spoken by the Pope. Recently, I've been thinking about what it means to live in love, compassion, justice, and forgiveness. When I look into the eyes of my sons, I understand the importance of these values. And I am more convinced than ever that this is the way. The way of Jesus and his mother is true education and the key to resolving our fears 
and brings healing and peace. So it is time to take seriously love, compassion, justice, and forgiveness. You need it, so do I, so do our families, so does our school, our nation, and our world. As we honor the graduates tonight, we set our sights on excellence in education and academic pursuits. But remember, it is the practice of the inner virtues that is necessary for true transformation. Transformation of our lives, the lives of those around us, our school, and the world in which we live. Remember the words of St. Catherine of Siena, be who God meant you to be, and you will set the world on fire. Thank you, and again, congratulations. So now, having fulfilled the requirements of the Diocese of Camden and St. Michael the Archangel Regional School, the following will receive diplomas. These graduates wearing the blue and white cords are members of the National Junior Honor Society. Ms. Fabrizio will now come forward and read the names of the members of the class of 2021. First row, please stand. Juliana Aguilar. Abraham Kenny Alaves. Ida Elizabeth Ambrose. Abigail M. Ash. <laughs> Sophia Santorell Bompenza. <laughs> Madison Lynn Bullock. Michael Burgo. Michael Hunter Conti. Hunter John Corradetti. Nicholas Anthony Corradetti. Michael Cruz. Gabriel Joseph Ferrero. Christiana Norma Figarelli. Gavin Friel. <laughs> Ava Rose Godby. <laughs> Brendan Heath. Claire Faith Jeffress. <laughs> Peyton Klein. <laughs> A 
Asher Lomax. Angelo Lewis Mazzarelli. Grace Trudy Meadle. Emily Ann Neal. Evelyn Roses Martinez. Connor Joseph Rostisher. Brooke Ann Ryder. Jason Michael Sapioti. Gretchen Rose Smith. Megan Tamborella. Graduates, please stand. At this time, please move your tassel to the left. Congratulations and welcome as alumni of, the, of St. Michael the Archangel Regional School. Please be seated. The class dedication to St. Michael the Archangel will now be given by the student body president, Christiana Figarelli. Will the members of the class of 2021 please stand? We, the graduating class of 2021, ask you, St. Michael the Archangel, patron saint of our school, to intercede for us to be forever attached to our alma mater, inspired by the Catholic faith and devoted to American democracy. We dedicate ourselves to live the ideals of our risen Lord Jesus Christ and our Catholic values. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. It is my privilege to present Father Lawrence E. Polanski, pastor of the parish of St. Michael the Archangel, for the benediction. Four years ago, my godson was sitting where you're sitting today, obviously at a different high school, or a different grade school, eighth grade, I can't believe how fast four years went because he just graduated from Shannon High School in Philadelphia. Um, and at his baccalaureate mass, um, Archbishop Perez presided. And in his homily, he gave the graduates three recommendations. That to live by always, but especially when you're challenged. And it echoes what was said by Father Caparis in his homily by Ava in her valedictorian address, by Mr. Gene Fortune. Three things to remember. Be grateful. And Father Capara said, thank your parents tonight. Be hopeful for the things that you're gonna be able to achieve. Be faithful. Always remember that the Lord is with you. So I ask everyone to please stand. The Lord be with you. Bow down and pray for God's blessing. Gracious and loving God, we ask now for your mighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. May they find comfort from our community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. 
May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts widely, wisely in the service of others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so they may use their talents to, in the words of St. Ignatius Loyola, go forth and set the world on fire. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We take this opportunity to thank you for your attendance at the graduation liturgy, and we ask that the parents, relatives, and friends remain in their places until the graduates have exited. Thank you, and good evening.